working at the lab, it's really cool seeing the different missions and different projects that everyone's working on at once. Um, a lot of times in academia, you know, a lot of people have the one specific project they're working on, but here everyone gets to do a bunch of different projects. At the lab, you really get to see the intersection of military and technology. Um, and it's just really interesting to see the way that Lawrence Livermore helps and supports um, the missions of the DOE and the DOD. Kind of get to see how um, the Army and like the civilian side of things come together to work on uh, solving our nation's problems. Here at the lab and the Nuclear and Chemical Sciences Division, working with Dr. John Dostopadopoulos and Dr. William Cur Curlin, on synthesizing chemicals for radiochemical extractions. I'm currently working with the RF Photonics Group um, under NIF, which is the National Ignition Facility. And right now, um, we're performing experiments on complex optical systems, and then I'm also helping with the digital post-processing of the data. The project that I'm uh, currently working on is under the Global Security Branch of the lab. I'm working in conjunction with Dr. Ming to uh, process uh, gamma spectroscopy data to uh, predict the um, predict futures in nuclear surrogate models using machine learning. It's an opportunity for military students and newly commissioned officers to intern at a world-class national laboratory to apply their education, their experience within research and development. Often that correlates with mission critical work around national defense and security. I've learned a lot just chemistry-wise, been able to refine my skills in the lab, uh, making chemicals, but also just new sides of chemistry I hadn't noticed before. So I've really been able to broaden my horizons in chemistry. Taking those theoretical and mathematical concepts that I've learned um, at Colorado School of Mines, and then just getting the chance to apply that to real-world systems and gather real data in support of a mission has been an amazing experience. The biggest thing that I've gained from working at the lab this summer is a uh, professional experience and working with somebody who's well versed in the field that you're uh, looking to go into in the future. They gain new skills, knowledge, and abilities. They also gain new experience, often that correlates directly with their military career. They also gain an incredibly important network, right? And so this network consists of laboratory employees that often were veterans or in the military. They also network with all other students here at the laboratory that are interning. ROTC cadets, whether they're Air Force, Navy, or Army, this is a really good opportunity to just broaden your horizons and see what do others in the government work towards and how do they support our mission in the military, but also on the civilian side as well. And also what new things are we learning too that can help us be better prepared for the future and for tomorrow. Lawrence Livermore in particular offers like a special experience because you get to, like I said, work with professionals who are like really well versed in their field and uh, present you with like somebody to look up to and kind of uh, like shape your path around. You might think, oh, my major doesn't relate to this or there's nothing that I can do here. But there's people in like public policy, like politics, as well as like STEM degrees. There are many opportunities at the laboratory uh, that have a direct correlation to the military. Some of those are at our National Ignition Facility, um, within global security, within computing, within additive manufacturing, in engineering. There's a lot of overlap with the skills, the attributes, the abilities of our military and veterans while they serve that transition really well into some of those areas at the laboratory. So those are some of the areas we're focused on right now, as well as operations and business, which could be somebody in supply chain or finance. So there's opportunities even outside of STEM. This experience allows you to broaden your horizons, get real hands-on experience, and learn different aspects in your field you might, have, might not have learned as before, as well as getting to work with some really great people. I believe their first priority is uh, like national defense against like nuclear threats and things like that. So working on projects like that kind of makes you feel like not only you're learning something for yourself, but you're kind of uh, contributing to something that's greater than yourself in the defense of our nation. Everyone can benefit by interning at Lawrence Livermore.